Hello YouTube, coolest motherfucker here, and uh, today I'm going to give you a little tutorial about how to make Yu-Gi-Oh mats. So, let's get right into this real fast, so I can get this done. Um, what we're going to do is, we're going to, well, I'm going to give you a brief explanation about Yu-Gi-Oh mats here. To make a Yu-Gi-Oh mat, you're going to need one of two programs, GIMP, Photo Editor 2.0, or you're going to want Adobe Photoshop, CS3 to CS5. Um, anything below CS3 is probably not as compatible with PSD files or the image sizes, so you're going to want a higher grade of CS. Um, I have CS5. Um, there are ways to get Adobe CS5 for free um, without having to download said products, but Unless I want to get sued, sued by Adobe, I'm not going to really um, announce them. If you want to get Adobe Photoshop for free, um, I'll set up a, you know, I'll put my Skype name down there at the bottom. You can contact me, and um, you can contact me here, it, wherever. It just I'll send you, um, I'll send you a link. Also, um, for this nice background, this is actually um ever very amazing artist on DeviantArt. Her name is Aqua Fellas. A link to her will also be in the description. So, and it was this is an HP background that I edited. So, anyway, on to the video. To get your um, download links for your mats, the templates, you're going to want to come to Pojo, um, sign in, whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't have to, but then you then you then enter Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you go to Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Gossip, and it should never be too far from the top, like here it is, five away from the top. Here is the custom play mat thread, and you can, you know, download all kinds of things here. You can have a list of designer portfolios here, um, you can see some of the stuff that other people made. There's, um, profiles of, uh, you see all of these put in PayPal, printing for designs, all stuff here. Um Yeah, printing other playmats designs, da da da. There's program resources, Adobe GIMP, and here you go, resources. You use custom playmat templates. A new tab it'll open up this site where you can then have to use these three download links. Um, download link, mirror, second mirror. Um, the mirrors are mainly only here in case the first one breaks and the second one in case this one breaks. Because sometimes rapid share breaks, uh, media fire, you know, things expire, blah blah, all that kind of stupid stuff. But I'm going to close this stuff out now. That wasn't closed, that was, yeah. And uh, I'm going to open up my Photoshop. Now I already have the stuff open. And I have the files I'm going to use. I have the images I'm going to use. To open a files in Photoshop is very easy. Same way as GIMP, Control O, or File Open. And you can open multiple files on once. It doesn't matter. But um, I'm going to come over here and turn off Theft Prevention because I don't know if you're going to be able to steal my mats from uh, my video, but it, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, by the way, this mat is made for a friend of mine. His name is Demon Next Aori. Um, link to him will also be in the subscription. I'm giving shoutouts left and right, apparently. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go over to my first image here. This is an image uh, given to me by him for High School of the Dead, I think. Or High School of Undead, something like that. Anyway, I'm just going to increase. In fact, I'm not going to increase anything. An easier way to do it is to select and select color range. I now can select all of this. Okay. Now all the red is selected. I can now, I think it is Control Shift I. Yes, Control Shift I switches what I have selected. Control X is an easy cut product. Now they go back to what I did before, where I was here. Now I have all the red selected. And if you don't like keyboard shortcuts, there's easier ways to do it. With all the red selected, you can come up here to select, and you can hit inverse. They even put the shortcut here next to it. Con shift Control I. Now that I have the her body selected, I can now 
copy and if you don't like control C or control X there's always uh, I think edit copy or edit cut I want to cut just to make sure so you see I copied this and nothing other red you can even see that there's even little pieces in here where they're red and certain things were selected I'm going to come back come back over to my image now this is my mat uh, and layers I'm going to say are very important because some people say yes some people say no yes they are very important so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click right on card zones because I want this picture I want that picture to above above the card zones but you know not behind you know certain things so for I'm going to paste that here now you can see I have a little bit of red and stuff. I kept that personally. I increased fuzziness and stuff to keep that red flare in the picture. I thought that just looked cool. But you can always change that. Now I'm going to drag that this picture. Whoa, my mouse is being a little jittery. Uh, over to the corner here. I'm then going to hit Control T. Or for those who don't like it, you can always come up here to make sure you have that. You can always come up here to... Uh, image I think it is or an adjustment transform there's always there's all types of ways I think uh, there's there's all types of ways to do this personally my favorite way to do it is the shortcut control T to transform it doing transform you can uh, change height width all kinds of stuff but free transform is best I just come over here to the corner now I hold the shift key and to keep it in ratio and I just, you know, I can control its size. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And double click to turn it off. Drag it off here a little bit. And done. There, you have that. Now I'm going to click on my background. And I'm going to turn that off. So I don't see that now. The background, I'm going to come over here. This is my background. Now you see, these images are very similar. In size, anyway. So I'm going to control A and control C or X. Both of them copy. It doesn't matter. So here, I'm pasting this as the background now. Now obviously it's a layer above the background. It, it'll show up as layer 2, but it's, it's, it'll, it's still there. Now here you go. You have, that is the background. You can always actually, you can also merge it, duplicate it. It's, it, there's a bunch of options you can do. But for now, I'm just going to keep that there. And so you have this nice hot background. And you have her right here. Now, I'm also going to turn on card zones. I'm going to turn them off and turn on card zones. I don't want these card zones. In fact, I think they're a little off. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to push these over here. And you see. Over here, they have custom and them on. Turn custom off. And I like to keep the official ones on. And I'm going to turn that off, that off, and that off. And just keep this. In fact, that's all I'm going to keep. Turn my layers back on. Keep her above that. And this in the background. And you have a pretty nice looking mat right there. But, you know, just to uh, increase the flare. You can move them around and whatnot. Move this over a little bit. I'm going to go right here. Grab this text tool. And uh, from over here, down over here. Now I'm going to type in Demon Xiori. Now I'm going to come over here, hit enter so it's down towards the bottom. Um, Increase the size, the font size. Let's go to uh 200. And you know, uh, hit delete. You know, there's all t there's all different types of things you can do to edit this. And you see, let's make it a nice shade of red. Uh, red. and you just click off and boom 
and uh, that's really how you make a mat. There's all different types of other things you can do too. Um, you can add effects to your text, you can add gradients, you can add all types of different shading effects, burn effects, you can even create your own images and then put them in there. There's all types of different things you can do. Photoshop is not the only way to do it. There's GIMP and all kinds of other things. I've actually seen a person use paint to make a mat. It was a long kind of virtuous thing, but you know, it worked. So, um, yeah. But anyway, that this is how uh, you make a mat. This is a very basic mat. I would probably I would probably use this mat. It's very sexy. Um, you know, kind of up there cuz, you know, it's very different. <laughs> but uh yeah, you can take this to regionals. You can show off your work. There's all types of things you can do. You can add the text to it. You can keep the letters for the OCG and whatnot. All all different types of stuff you can keep in there. So um, just uh, I'll ha I'll probably try to make a different like more in depth tutorial if I get more time or something. So thanks for watching YouTube. This was cool as motherfucker, and uh, subscribe to my shit, and you'll get more tutorials and cool stuff like this. I also create mats too. So if you want to send me a message for a mat and whatnot, that's fine. Um. I can create you a mat, anything like that. So you can just come up to me. Um, I'll have a trade binder up soon and everything. So come on over.